coming. Mm -hmm. Listen, what took you so long? You called from the hospital over an hour ago. Well, I stopped off to buy some going away presents. Oh, this was in the bag then? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it wasn't necessary, but I just couldn't resist it. Ah, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Have you ever seen more luggage in your life? It looks like a convention. Oh, stop it. A couple months is a long time, well, you know. it's not a whole life. But Fred, how am I supposed to fit all this and you and Jeremy into that little bitty car of yours? It'll fit. You know, all this is so exciting. I wish I was going along, too. Uh, yeah. Now, wait a minute. You guys said you were going to come visit this summer. We will. We will. Good. But we're still going to miss you. Oh. We're all going to miss you. <laughs> yeah. Let's take this down here. Well, hello. Hey, oh, hey, hello. is that you? Okay, let me see your port card. I check this baby out. Straight A's, but what else is new? Oh, I'm myself. impressed. Straight A's and one C. Oh, well, that was in geography, and that's kind of Luke's fault. Luke's fault, Luke, yeah. Luke, how could he affect your grades? Well, I was studying for my final, and I asked him where the continental shelf was. And he said in the hall closet, I guess my oh, teacher didn't have a sense of humor. Oh, what? Oh, At least not one as good as Luke's, huh? I'm sorry. Really, man? Jackie? What's the big surprise? This is a real surprise, I guess. It's just, uh... I didn't know she was your type. What do you think's my type? And, and be careful. <laughs> I don't know. I thought of something more, uh... Like Tiffany? I like Tiffany as good. <laughs> All Tiffany right. is a very good example. All right. Well, look, lots of, lots of nice things to say about Tiff. I mean, fun, entertaining. A nice diversion. But not the real thing, huh? No. No, I won't deny it. You know, there's a real attraction where Jackie's concerned. No. Is the attraction you to her or her to you? Well, me to her, I guess. Unequal love, the worst of all maladies, pal. In other words, you don't feel that Jackie reciprocates? Uh, I don't feel that Jackie is really mature enough to, to reciprocate or understand what's going on. I think that she's barely out of diapers. I think that she gets herself in and out of all kinds of situations, and mostly she's out of it. And she's out of it without a parachute. Well, <clears throat> I've never been one for women with both feet on the ground. Like Tiffany. Well, you know, I'm close to Tiffany. Hell, you know that. I mean, when we first met on the island, well, I guess it could have been a lot more, but it just didn't quite happen. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. I mean, we're really close friends, but it's not love. And with Jackie, it is the real thing, I said. Uh, well, yeah, I guess whatever that is. Would you like a rundown? Because I think I know what it is. Well, you know, what they say, uh, one man's meatballs is another. Another man's sauna. That's it. So, uh, what are you going to do about her? Jackie? Uh -huh. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I feel a sort of a special attraction, but I don't want to lose Tiffany. <laughs> you dog. <laughs> Most men will kill for the choice. Well, <laughs> let's look at it this way. I mean, it hasn't come to a choice yet, but I guess you could say I'm having my cake and eating it too. What a good idea. Tell me something, Robert. Do you ever wonder what's holding us all together? What you mean, the glee club? Yeah, all of this stuff. I mean, I know about all the talk, you know, sticking together to the end, having a common goal, all for one and one for all, and all that stuff, but why? You don't know, do you? No. <laughs> You're the reason, mate. You, thouest Lucas Lorenzo Spencer. You mean that if it hadn't been for Gray, or Laura's disappearance, or any of this, we would all... You mean we'd still be together, everybody would still stick around all this? Sure. Why, man? Because we're friends, and I value that. That goes both ways. So, here we are, on our way to see your old buddy Ballantyne. I get the feeling that we're at the end of a great big circle or something. Or the start of a new one. Are you nervous about going back to the uh, WSB? 
Well, it's kind of weird, but uh, I'm not nervous. I mean, it's not as if I'm joining up again. Yeah, but wouldn't you like to? Haven't you got that old, uh, that old itch? That old itch to be in a third world somewhere fighting some strange war that you have nothing really to do about or in some back alley chasing some exotic hoodlum like Cassidyne. Isn't that exactly what we're doing? I mean, Cassidyne cried, you know. What's in the name? I mean, they all represent the same thing. Sort of a dark side of mankind that no one really knows about. I mean, all we have to really understand here is uh, when does the next catastrophe happen and where? <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about it. Robert, I, I'm sure that uh, fate has a way of kind of just dumping the next <laughs> catastrophe in our laps. <laughs> Closing the club tonight is the dumbest idea I have ever heard. Luke said we had to be careful, and that would just be another added precaution. No, it's totally out of the question for two reasons. First of all, we need the profits. And second of all, Luke would kill us. All right, fine. We're going to stay open, but if there's any problems, we shut down. All right, fine. Walt, have you seen my sister? In the kitchen, I think. Laura? Tommy! I can't believe it. You're eating again. Well, it's just a sandwich. It's delicious, too. Listen, I'm going up on the deck. You guys want to join me? Uh, no, darling. I've got books to do. Actually, I want to take a hot bath. Okay. I'll be doing a solo act this afternoon. Yes, so. Eli. Yes, I understand. I'm on my way. Letters and snapshots and telegrams. Don't you worry. The car's all right. packed. All right. Every inch of the car is all packed. We're going to have to put you two in with an eye drop. Oh, you. Well, I, I do hope there's room enough for these. Oh, wait, whose birthday is it? They're going away presents, one for each of you. Oh, you should. <laughs> and I'm glad you're you. Oh, open your back. Come on. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. You always wrap these so tight on Oh, oh, wow, portable yeah. stereo. Great. <laughs> oh, Steve, it's Miss perfect. Lee. Oh, now there's perfect. a handsome couple. Mm. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Mm. I'm going to put it right next to my bed, and I'll look at it every morning. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. My Forever. pleasure. Now, come on, you two. Jeremy, yeah. come on, let's wait out by the car. Come on. I'm going to miss you guys. Uh, well, well, maybe not you. I guess it's one of those awkward moments, huh? Yeah, I guess it is. We've had a few. <laughs> yeah, we've had a few. So, do we talk about all the things that we've shared? No, I don't think we should spend our last moments together talking over mistakes. Mistakes? Oh, yeah. And we both made a few. <laughs> Well, I guess it would be crazy for us to uh, wonder, what if? Especially since there's no answer. In this little time, I uh, hope you have a wonderful summer, Logan. <laughs> I want you to know that I have loved you and cared for you through all of the ups and downs that we've had. And you just have a good time, OK? Yep, <laughs> I'll try. Girl, if you ever need me. I know, just whistle. <laughs> just whistle. Yeah. Plane to Lisbon's waiting, sweetheart. That way? Okay. You nut. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no telling where Packy might go. I think there's a chance that he might come back here. Yeah, a chance. That's why I want to speak to Johnny. Why don't you come with us over to the sports center? We'll see if he's there now. All right. Hey, Drew, we're going. Okay. Just turn the uh, center thing in the knob here and the lock behind you. Close it. Okay. I shouldn't be too much longer. We'll see Excellent. you at the house. Okay. 
Goodness. Go on with Thomas. We'll, we'll catch you in a minute, all right? Oh, be right. Oh, that just makes me want to do something. Let's hope that they find what they need in Washington, all right? What is this, uh, Secretary Masters like? I've no idea. He took over the bureau from Whiting. I've never met him. Hmm. Ah, good afternoon, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Valentine. Well, you're looking very fit, Scorpio. How's retirement treating you? No complaints. You remember Luke Spence? Oh, remember? How could I forget last summer? <laughs> well, why don't you both be seated? I'll see if I can help you. Thank you. We're uh, here to see Masters. Now, don't misunderstand, gentlemen. Secretary Masters is interested in your problem. He just doesn't have the time to talk to you personally. Look, we didn't make this little trip to reminisce about holiday on ice. This is serious business. Well, I'm sure it is. Just give me all the details. Look, uh, uh, maybe you don't understand, Mr. Valentine. You see, we came here to see Mr. Masters, and that's it. And I don't see any point in sitting around talking to a second banana. Do you, Robert? Now, look, uh, let's not make this difficult, gentlemen. Look, that's precisely our intention, unless you get Masters in here, like, now. I'm under orders, Scorpio. I don't expect Mr. Spencer to understand this. But you were with the Bureau long enough to no, know... No, we'll run around when I see it. Come on. Go. Wait. We're waiting. Please, give me some preliminary information. And then, I'll see if Secretary Masters wants to meet with you. What do you mean by preliminary information? Well, you have a problem, correct? Yeah. Now, before we can help you with that problem, we need to know all the details. All the details? Well, I'll tell you, uh, you already know the details. They're in your file cabinet under Gray, David Gray. Now, I think we should just skip all this and get right down to business or right down to that file. Very well. Right behind me, they should be here any second. Hey, they come. Hi, hi. Anybody say anything to Johnny? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Rick, that's your job. Johnny. Oh, yeah. Oh, hiya, Doc. Look, I'm... I was just gonna call you. What's up? It's about Packy. Yeah? John Packy is alive. What do you mean, alive? Just what I said, he didn't die. He's alive. I can't believe it. He's alive? Amy, he's alive! <laughs> oh, well, wait, wait a second. I mean, wh if he... Why do you let us think he was killed? I think only Packy can answer that question adequately. Have you seen him? Yes, Joe and I found him at his sister's. He was knocked unconscious. He wasn't shot. He woke up on a railroad track covered with blood. His sister has nurtured him back to health. Who's hiding from us? I'd say probably more likely from the mob. He sold me out, Rick. We don't know that for sure, John. We really don't. Why else would he stay away from us unless he was hiding something? I can't believe my faith in Packy has been misplaced all this time. It hasn't been, kid. Packy! <laughs> You're right. I ran away and hid out. I let those meatballs threatened me and pushed me around, but no more. I'm back. I'm gonna go the distance this time. I don't know what to say. I'm still... Johnny, believe me, I'm on your side. Ain't nobody gonna hurt you now. I knew I saw you through the window. Ah, my boy, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> you heard me. Packy's back. Now what do we do? Yeah, that's right. He's back. We Yeah. We cherry. Yeah. Coming for to carry me home. Oh yeah. Swing low. Doc, have you seen her? Seen who? Laura, I went up to the deck to see her and she's not there. Did you check her stateroom? 
Yeah, I went there, and she doesn't seem to be around. I haven't seen her. I'm sorry. I don't... Are you sure you're positive? Positive. I don't know what to do. What's all the commotion, darling? Laura's gone. Are you sure? Well, she isn't here. She's not upstairs. I don't know what to do. Walt, have you seen her? No, I sure haven't. This is, Tiffany, this is exactly what Luke was afraid of. What? Well, okay, look, let's, let's don't jump to conclusions, okay? Uh, first, we'll, we'll search this place from stem to stern, okay? And then what do we do? Then, darling, we'll jump to conclusions. Come on. You're alone? Yes. Yeah. Where's Mel? Away. What does that mean? It means he won't be back. Do you have any information for me? No. What about the sword? Did you hear them talk about it? Laura, answer me. Yes. I heard them talk about a sword. Do you know where they've hidden it? No. But you have seen them with it. Not a sword, but a bag. Velvet, I think. What did they do with it? I don't know. You're absolutely sure? Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Where are Spencer and Scorpio now? Washington. A place called W.S.B. That's all you know about Gray? That's all we know until you let us into the file. Well, as you know, that... Uh file has a security lock on it. That's why we're here in person. And personally, I'd like to know why you're stalling. I mean, every question that you're asking here is totally irrelevant. And perhaps to you. Listen, man, I really, I would like to talk to Masters. I'd like to talk to him now. All right, gentlemen. All right. Would you wait in the outer office, please? I have to make a phone call. Come on, let's go. Secretary Masters, please. Mrs. Ballantyne, thank you. Yes, Mr. Secretary. Well, I'm afraid they... It's no good. No, sir, they won't budge until they see you personally. And, as you did not let me in on this, I, uh... Very well, sir. I hope you understand that Secretary Masters does not meet with anyone who doesn't have an appointment. Look, I used to work here, remember? Now, you've impressed us by his importance. Do we get to see him or not? Please understand, his time is extremely limited. You're implying that ours isn't? No. No harm intended, Mr. Scorpio. I believe the Secretary is ready to meet with you now. Gentlemen. Secretary Masters. Yes, gentlemen. What can I do for you? <laughs> 